Aquaman 2 is the last movie in the DCEU. It was released in December of 2023, and let's talk about it. This movie finishes out the DCEU, and it wasn't supposed to. Aquaman 2 is just supposed to be another movie go with, along with the thing that they've been building for years previous. But then, they were like, goodbye, this is the end of the D DCEU, see you later, but we're going to release Aquaman 2. Because we need something to end on. Not Sure not The Flash. That movie lost a lot of money. Um, anyway, so this movie, I think, needs to be viewed through the lens that it's just another DCEU superhero movie and not the final film. Because the way that they were thinking of this movie when they actually made it was with the perspective that this is just going to be another movie in the DCU, not the finale. But it's too late now. So, I think we need to view it with the same lens that the people making the movie had when they were actually working on it, which was that um, that this wasn't going to be the final one, this was just going to be another movie. And this movie, viewing it through that lens, is really, really good. At times, it can feel really silly or be really goofy some things look silly in the movie like the costumes or like their costumes or whatever and stuff like that can look a little bit goofy sometimes but all in all if you just ignore it and have a good time it's a lot of fun just it's just a movie don't take it too seriously it's it's basically a junk food movie where like if you take it too seriously it's not you're not gonna like it and the movie's not necessarily good for you, but it doesn't really do anything for you. you know, it, it's just there. It's just there to have fun. So, so yeah, that's how I view this movie. And, so, yeah, I guess we have to talk about the plot. I will give my good, okay, and the bad. And, yeah, so, let's just go ahead and go into it. So, this movie has the man. So, it starts off, Aquaman, he's a dad. And, he, he he's... He's, he is having part up above water and underwater. So he has to keep the peace underwater so they just so they don't absolutely nuke the earth and just destroy everything. And there's a little bit of like social commentary about global warming somewhere in this movie. It's um it's when the villain, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Um yeah, so he's um he's the ruler of Atlantis, he has a kid, um that's all you need to know. Amber Heard is in this movie, which is kind of... I mean, she didn't really age well. Um, And this is probably going to be her last movie for a long time, if she ever even goes back. I'm pretty sure she's in hiding with her sister now or something, but I don't know. That's all, We're not talking about real world. We're talking about um, just the movie, the world of the movie. So, apart from um, uh, that whole thing, we need to talk about the villains. So... The villain is Manta. He's returned, and, you know, he's bruised and beaten from when Aquaman has beaten him previously. And what he is looking for is a power to repair his suit, which he used to fight Aquaman. Because he's just a normal land dweller, as some of, as Aquaman's brother would say. And, um, yeah, so, he finds this power, though. And this power will grant him the ability to fix his mask, hit him, rule the world, the ocean, all that stuff, and, um, so he, he wants to, but he just has to, but he has to do one thing, he has to devote himself to defeat, to, um, finding this temple deep underwater, freeing him from his, from his, like, um, prison that he's been in for who knows how long, several centuries, so he's like, okay, yeah, deal. So then he gets he gets all these powers, abilities. Um, there's this there's a lot of goofy stuff that happens here because there's like this scientist that works for him that's pretty funny. I mean, the actor that plays him is hilarious, he's a comedian, and he he's meant to be like the the st stereotypical nerd in this movie. But um, yeah, he, he gets he got me a few laughs a few times. This movie actually could be funny when it wanted to, and it could be really, and it was really good, I really enjoyed this movie, I would, I really like the villain and everything, and, um, what, but what the villain wants to do is to free him from this 
area underground, he needs to go to Antarctica, do all of these nukes and stuff that's heating the atmosphere, burning Antarctica, basically, just, like, melting it, which is just going to cause a bunch of havoc and mess everything up, which is basically what we're experiencing in the real, real world, just not as superhero-y, because, you know, the Antarctica is melting, Meeting everything's heating up, it's getting crazy. So, anyways, um, Aquaman and has to stop this, but to stop this, he wants help from his brother. But his brother is in prison, so he gets his brother in a pretty exciting sequence where he saves him. And, um, he, as soon as he gets water, he gets like really muscular and stuff, and then he's just like ready to fight. And so, and then they bring him back to Atlantis. And, uh, they're a little bit suspicious of him, because he was the villain in the, uh, last movie. His brother was. So, now they're teaming up and everything, and they're, they're gonna butt heads a little bit, but, hey, it's okay. And eventually, they stop Manta, they beat him up, they take away his power. That scientist, though, is awesome. He doesn't want to, he, see, he's being forced into helping them. But he doesn't like what they're doing, because he realizes the catastrophic things that could happen if he succeeds. And he's like, I don't like this, but you're going to kill me if I stop working for you. So what am I really going to do? I don't know. Hard to tell. So he, what he does is he kind of just plays along. Um, eventually Aquaman and his brother break into the base where the villains are. Um, he's like, no, 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 I can work with you here. And then he kind of just gets blown up, but he survives. And, um, they, es and then they escape, they leave the place where, er, where their base is. And the scientist is kind of like, he's playing, he's playing both sides. So he's pretending to be with the main villain, with Manta, and help him with his goals. But he's really like, I need to stop this guy. He, he's not very cool. So, honestly, I think he was the best part of the movie, the scientist was. I can't remember his name. I, I can't remember his name at all. Um, so, you know, let's talk about this movie, because... I really had a lot of fun with this one. The good, the okay, and the bad, starting with the good... Okay, I found the villains to be pretty good. Lower, I think, actually, no, we're just, we're just save that for a whole other category, actually. So, something that's good is the bonding between Aquaman and his brother. It, it just flows really nicely. They work well together. Um, it, this movie's really creative, and the atmosphere looks really, really cool. Like, underwater, Atlantis, all of that, everything that they show looks awesome. Again, the best part of this movie for me was the scientist uh, that was on the villain side originally, but then it was like, he's kind of evil. Switch of sides. Um, Aquaman's son, hear me out, is absolutely adorable. He's gonna be the next Aquaman. Like, I swear, he, he's, he's gonna be the savior of the, of the DC universe. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen, guys. Trust me. So, um, Again, the villain, the, all the most of the characters. So something that was okay in the movie, now, the starting to get from good down to okay, is the is the main villain. The main villain, I feel, was a little bit. Well, here's the thing. I think in superhero movies, it's difficult to write a good villain because when you're trying to make a good, memorable villain, it's difficult to do this because. You need to focus on the heroes, and there's so much else to focus about that the villain just kind of gets lost in the mix as something for the heroes to beat up, vic feel victorious about, and yeah. And, yes, yeah, so, so I, I, I'm, I'm cutting this movie a little bit of slack, but yes. Okay, so something else is okay is the way some of these costumes look is a little bit cartoony and goofy, which I don't really mind. It's kind of just a nitpick. A lot of the things that go in the okay cat when I like a movie, but I still put things in the okay category. I do think that they're just normal. They're just usually nitpicks. If I still like the movie, but I still have some things in okay, it's just nitpicks. Anyways, um, something I just want to talk about, like really quick, just like breaking off for a second, is that this they should have. I think the people should have had a lot more like, um, vision when it came to, the DCU's gonna end soon. They should have had a little bit more of a heads up, so they could make a movie to the best of their degree. And this movie was really good, just maybe not to finish off the DCEU, for goodness sake. 
but I still did really enjoy this movie. Out of 10, I would get it roughly a, maybe a 7? 7.5. 7.5 sounds fair. Um, so 7.5 out of 10, I don't even know what that would be out of 5. Maybe like a 3.5? I don't know. Anyways, guys, if you all enjoyed this video or any of my other content, please consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.